Hello, good people. That's media day done at the 2021 Italian GP here in Monza. Good day, and if you give me eight seconds to have a shower and a shave, I'll come back and tell you more. Shaved and showered, let's get started. If you weren't at the track today for media day for the Italian GP for 2021, allow me to tell you what transpired. Well, at least the stuff that I witnessed. I got there early to shoot driver arrivals and the car park for the drivers is actually this dust bowl. And any car that goes in there by the end of the day is not the same color. It's just covered in dust. The media car park is slightly further away, but the whole track is set in a park so it's quite beautiful the surrounds and from the center of Monza I'm guessing it's a couple of k's at most most of the drivers stay at this hotel here it's common knowledge and they would uh, take cars into the track um, no Mick Schumacher rode his motorbike today and I'll tell you more about that next week with a video on the cars that the drivers drove to the track Pierre and Charles caught up in the car park Pierre was just backing his car in, Charles had parked before, and the two had a chat for, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds, and had a big laugh at something, and they were speaking French, I had no idea. And uh, then Charles took off and went through to the paddock while Pierre parked up and came in moments later with his trainer, Piru. George Russell was one of the first into the track today, and one of his Williams people met him outside the swipe gates to give him his, what have they got, uh, Bremont? Have they got Bremont? I should have watched my own video, shouldn't I? Which watch company sponsors Williams? Oh, it is Bremont. And he put that watch on and then walked into the paddock. George, of course, was all the rage because of his move, or at least the announcement of his move to Mercedes next year. And he was quizzed uh, in the press conference later in the day on that. And no doubt, uh, all the media would have asked him about that. And just to give you an idea, there is uh, press conferences running every 15 minutes up on the same level of the grand, well, it's not the grandstand, is it? It's the uh, building above the garages. So we can actually shoot the drivers coming up the stairs and going into these press conferences. And they run at 15 minute intervals with two drivers each. Uh, the second last pairing was Carlos Sainz and George Russell. And it was pretty obvious that Carlos had had a haircut during the week. This is last week and this week, before and after. On a personal note, I was quite excited today because for the first time since 2020 in Melbourne, I was allowed to walk through the paddock. And that's because there's no way for us to get from the media center out to the track unless we traverse the paddock. However, we can't shoot in the paddock and we can't stop. We have to walk one particular route, get in, get out quickly. Last weekend, we were all very excited about the steep banking at Zandvoort. Well, today, uh, a number of drivers actually stopped their track walk and headed over to a section of the old banked track and I walked up it with a couple of them and it is crazy, really dangerous to go up there on foot. It's 21 degrees. Now, you might think, well, that doesn't sound too much, but it is. And it's probably three degrees more than last weekend's Zandvoort curve. But to me, they were frightening. And in fact, we had Mick Schumacher come down and he ended up having to go down in a gallop because of the gravity. Antonio Giovinazzi was also very careful when he came down. Ruth Buscom, who's the strategist for Alfa Romeo, she was very nervous about it, and she felt that the safest way down was adopting this particular strategy, which worked. Daniel Ricciardo has Italian heritage, loves pizza, so today he cooked one in the paddock with Noemi Di Miguel from the Spanish F1 broadcaster, and the pair cooked up a storm out there in the middle of the paddock. <laughs> It's a wise idea to make sure all your valuable items are marked with your name and a contact number or email address. And that saved me close to 7,000 euros this week. I sat there and that's where my camera was. Buongiorno. Hi, Cougua. I am the man. <laughs> I am so embarrassed. Grazie, grazie, grazie. <laughs> yes, I left it on the seat in that cafe, but luckily the guys at Cafe Milani rang the phone number on the camera and I was reunited with it. Netflix are on a winner this weekend because they have a crew embedded with Ferrari with their home race and huge crowd support. Although I must say there's only 25,000 spectators allowed into the track, which would be, I'm guessing a third, would it? Maybe even a quarter of what you would normally get in. And I doubt very much, in fact, I 
I put my house on it, that they will not be allowed to invade the track afterwards and put up their big flags, which is a shame because that's something really beautiful about this track post-race when they celebrate like that. James Bond is back to celebrate the new movie. They have got the 007 logo on the car and the two drivers ended up doing a little photo shoot down in Pitt Lane late in the afternoon, which I imagine will be used in the marketing of the film. The good part about that is that they had their masks off and we don't often get a chance to shoot the drivers with their masks off. Sergio Perez and Lance Stroll shared one of the press conferences today. Being former teammates, I was delighted to see when they finished and they walked out into the corridor that they were very pally and even stopped for a posed photo with the Aston Martin photographer. As part of the COVID rules too, there is a set of steps for going up and a set of steps for going down. And here you can see that Charlotte Sefton, the press manager for McLaren, had to direct Lando down the right set of stairs. And by the way, have you had a look at the session times for this weekend? Because we have the sprint race, FP1, which normally starts at 11.30, now starts at 2.30 p.m. Qualification is 6 p.m. tomorrow night, my time. If you're watching this after the event, well, you know what happened. Then we have P2 at noon on Saturday, the sprint race at 4.30 p.m., and the main race on Sunday goes back to 3 p.m. We all got given a gift in the media center, and it is a pair of Monza socks, the temple of speed. In the press conference, the drivers were saying that they already had a couple of hundred people outside of the hotel that they're staying at, waiting just to glimpse the drivers as they left the property. Well, there was probably mm, a couple of hundred people outside the main gates once you get out of the track. And uh, this is them as I was leaving the track tonight, all excited about what is coming up this weekend. And what of Lewis Hamilton? Well, Unfortunately for me, I didn't see much of Lewis because I had to go and shoot the track walk at the start of the day and Lewis came in quite late and in an amazing outfit with a big puffy jacket. And here's the picture he posted on his social media. I can tell you, you didn't need a puffy jacket today. It, was, it wasn't stinking hot, but it was 29 degrees by the time he came in. Lando Norris was also wearing a hoodie today on a warm morning. And I believe this is from Marcello Berlin now. I'd never heard of the brand, so thank you to my Instagram followers who identified that. And this noise in the background is because I'm shooting uh, in a suburb here of Monza with the window open. So you're hearing typical Italian neighborhood sounds. Did you realize that those Emirates signs that they paint on the ground at the various corners are all done by hand? And the only real instrument that the sign writers use is these three or four pieces of wood that they strap together to make a very long ruler for want of a better word. But otherwise it's all just down to skill of the artist painting on the ground. If you're a Haas fan you might know this fellow Stuart Morrison. Now, he's the press officer for Haas and when he came in this morning he was directing my attention to one of his colleagues who was a prime candidate for Women of the Paddock. I'm not sure what her role is but she's certainly a popular crew member. So I will endeavour to get a good quality photo of her for Women of the Paddock coming up Monday on my Instagram page. Hey, it's nearly the end. So please hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. It's come to you at no charge. Subscribe if you haven't done so. That way you get uh, the opportunity to see all of my videos. Get notified by clicking the notification button and become a member if you want some good extras. You'll find all of my digital images available at ProStarPix.com for editorial and personal use. If you'd like a photo book, one of my F1 photo books, go online to KimElman.com and order one there. We send them to almost any country in the world. You'll also find some merchandise there. And for my best pictures live from the track and all during the week, I urge you to go to Instagram and search at Kim Illman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate. What's that? Is that a light? Oh, there's another light. Great. I've got another light. Didn't even know we had that one. Balances things up a little bit.